I must say that the most frequently asked question is where is part two? Where's part two? Can't wait for part two. Love this video. Where's part two? Great video. Can't wait for part two. When is part two coming out? I'm dying for part two. Where's part two? Where's part two? Where's part two? I feel like Rihanna up in this, okay? Rihanna, where's the album? Chartia, where's the part two of this last series? Um, ciao. Anyway, so. Welcome back to my channel or whatever and if you are new here welcome to the world of weirdness my name is Shartia Bates I do lots of videos on like hair life hacks sometimes plants but stay tuned because they'll actually be an entirely different plant channel altogether I'm super excited for that because I love my plants I love you so much oh yes you are dusty you look dusty yeah. please do not Hesitate to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. This year, 2021, I want to reach 50K and I can do it with your help. 2021, I have great things in store. I'm so, 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 so excited. Oh, wait, backtrack. I think this is the first time I'm actually talking to you guys. So happy to be here. 2020 is done with. We're just going to leave that behind us. Okay, we're going to leave it in the past and we're going to look forward all about growth and bettering yourself and just becoming an entirely like better person than you were yesteryear and we're just not going to focus on any negativity it's all positivity okay now if you happen to hear a continuous shushing in the background have no fear it's not my ghost telling you to shut up it's my humidifier which is actually really good for my plants i gotta keep a human in here i gotta trick them like it's the growing season still and it's also really good for your face keeps your skin nice and supple Woo. And that was just an intro. Full disclaimer, this video is gonna be a talking video. So if you don't like to hear people rambling and talking in your ear, you probably don't wanna watch this video. Full disclosure. Today's video is a part two of the last series. You guys seem to love part one. Had a lot of questions. So today I will be answering all of your questions that, well, I will try to answer all of your questions that you may have. If I don't answer them all today, it will be in part three. And yes, there is gonna be another video coming, and I will not take three years to do it, I promise you. And I don't know if it's like anxiety, me trying to be a perfectionist, I'm not sure. I just wanted it to be a better video than part one was. And so I filmed this video like two, three times. And I'm going to be using some of those clips in this video so I can show you. I have a lot of footage, let's just say that. Probably won't use all the footage, but I will be using some of the footage. I do this every single time and every single time it comes out beautifully. Um, I think it's because practice makes perfect. But anyway, so let's get into this video. The outcome is amazing. However, this is very dangerous. You risk weakening and damaging your waterline, which will make your natural lashes fall. Also, the glue could be harmful to your eyes. Natural lashes support falsies, but seeing how you put yours under your lashes, I want to guess that they don't stay glued on for long. You look really good though. Your lashes look great, but I beg of you, please don't ever put them on your waterline. Lash extensions are made to be placed on your lashes. I'm surprised they aren't uncomfortable. I know you say you're not a professional, so I'm not bashing you. Thank you. They do look great. If I do say so myself. Mother effing toot toot, mother effing beep beep. Now, yes, I gave this disclaimer, part one, that I'm not a professional and this is really not the way you're supposed to do it, but this is how I do it. I've tried multiple techniques. I, I've tried putting the lashes on top of the lashes. I've tried putting it in between the lashes and I've also put it underneath my lashes, right? Borderline, waterline. Now, of the many techniques that I've tried, the only thing that actually worked well for me was the waterline. And I've been doing it for years. This is the first time I've actually documented it. And I've never had any dry eyes, no irritation, no burning, no itching um no styes like my eyes are perfectly fine the way i see it is like okay sure you put mascara on your lashes right you put eyeliner on your waterline right like it's the same concept you're introducing foreign materials to your waterline so you can still have an infection you can still have it can still be irritated um you can still get styes you can still have dry eyes like it's the same concept it's just that it's glue now that doesn't mean that your eyes will be perfectly fine what works for me may not work for you so with that being said please be careful when you try this technique 
multiple people in the comments have said that they've tried this technique before and they've also been doing it for years and there's no like adverse effects for them it's really important that you wash your lashes before you do it it's really important that you wash your lashes while you have them on and it's really important that you don't pull them off and I'll show you how to remove them later on in the video. I hope that makes sense. Like, I'm not trying to scare you guys. Or I'm not trying to, like, justify what I'm doing. I just know that it works best for me. And I'm going to do me. Oh, I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to do that anyway because that's how I am. And as promised, in this video, I will be showing you how I not only take care of my lashes, but how I do my lashes in a different way. Now, depending on the lashes that I use will determine my technique. Now, of course, per usual, like I said, I'm always going to wash my face, wash my lashes, and I'm going to dry my lashes with my fan using my spoolie brush, making sure that each lash is dry and it is clump free. I would have added more on the top to make them look more thicker and have more volume. In part one, I use the Not Free Naturals Individuals by Ardell. I'm still going to be using Ardell lashes, but this time, just to create more volume, I'm going to be using the Double Up. So it's basically the natural lash, but double. That way I don't have to double my work. Work smarter, not harder. These are not individuals. A laughing emoji. What's so funny about that? It literally says individuals on the packet. It says individual on the packet. How are these not individuals? I don't know. This is a this is a controversial statement, I guess. People don't say these are individuals. They say that these are clusters. Um, I guess individual ones are the ones that have singles. But if I'm not mistaken, the box actually says singles. So either way it goes, whether you use singles or clusters, they're individual lashes because you're not putting on a strip. So yeah, these are individual lashes. It says it right on the packet. So I want to hear from you guys. Like, do you think these are clusters or are these individuals? Like, what do you call these? Due to the volume of the lash itself, I find that it's best that I use a lash applicator such as this. This is actually best for applying lash strips. But I tried it with these individual lashes and they work wonders. Wonders. Okay? Wonders. And as for the glue, because I'll be applying it under my lashes, I'm going with a waterproof glue by Kiss. I want to ask, where do you get the glue from? So the glue, let me tell you a little something about this glue. It's waterproof glue, right? Now the waterproof glue is kind of hard to find. I looked on Amazon to see if I can find you a waterproof glue. They didn't have it on Amazon. So my best suggestion is if you have like a local beauty supply store, you may have to like scope the entire city for it. I'm not sure where you are, but here in Alabama, Northern Alabama, it's hard to find this waterproof glue. So when they have it, yeah, I just grab it. Actually, I didn't think about going to Ardell's website. I'm over here talking about it's Ardell. It's not even Ardell. It's Kiss. Kiss.com. Oop. Kiss.com is definitely a website you probably don't want to go to. Maybe if you are looking for a good time. After thinking about it some more, honestly, I feel like this lash applicator is not just for like the double lash. If you are a beginner at doing any type of lashes, whether it be strip or individuals or clusters or whatever you want to call them, it might be best that you use this one because it has a longer tip and it allows for more control. You just got to take note of how long the tip is. <laughs> Girl. And as far as the lash being uncomfortable, it is completely comfortable. I forget that it's there. And I think it's because of the fact that one, the lash is not free, meaning there's no knot at the tip of the lash. Also, it curves. So it's kind of like your natural lash. And like part one, just dip the lash in the glue. I did get a suggestion though. Great job. I may have to cheat and try this. You just need a glue holder to keep your glue sanitary and from drying out. See, that's what I like. I, I like the fact that she suggested that. I need to invest in a glue holder. Sticking the lash in a glue container probably is not as sanitary as it could be. This technique is for those of you who have some reservations about putting the lashes on your waterline. Have no fear, Shartia is here. The beauty of gluing it underneath is the fact that it looks so natural. Now it's the same concept. Instead of attaching it to your waterline, you can literally glue it to your natural lashes. Voila! You can do your own lashes without having the fear of damaging your waterline, which by the way, I feel is such an exaggeration. 
But I mean, that's neither here nor there. I'm not a lash tech. So I guess I'm not really averse or educated on that. But like I said, my eye is perfectly fine. But the, for those of you who are kind of scared about putting it on your waterline, this is a different technique that you can also use. And to make sure that it dries properly, you want to make sure that you use your fan every time you apply a lash. Why does this not work for me? The lashes just slip off and just never adhere. I've had that issue multiple times before, especially when I first started doing my own lashes. The trick is to, and it takes practice, the trick is to make sure that the glue you use is tacky and it's going to stick. Also, how much glue. So you don't want to use too much where it takes too long for it to dry, then some parts dry, some parts get tacky, some parts are still wet. You don't want that and you don't want to use too little to the point where it dries too fast and you can't adhere it so one thing that really helped me with the tackiness of the glue i took some spare just like lashes and i practiced on myself i would put some of the glue on the lashes wait for it to get tacky and just place it on my hand if i can blow on it just gently like that and it doesn't move i've done it perfectly it's just going to take some practice and trust me when i say this you're definitely going to get it it's you got this okay you got this applying it to the actual lash itself might be a little easier for those of you who are having some difficulties attaching the lash as well so if you're having some difficulties doing the way that i do it in part one this option which is applying it to your actual lash might be better for you Even if you have no or almost no lashes um, yeah, you can. I highly doubt that you have no lashes unless you have alopecia. But if you don't have any lashes, yeah, you can definitely still do it. If you look on my inner corner of my eye, like I barely have any lashes there. But yet I still have it and it still looks natural. Yeah, you can definitely do this without the lashes. If anything, you probably want to do it this way because of the fact that you have no lashes to hide. would I need one or two packs for both eyes. It all depends on your eye shape, the look you're going for. So if you want like a wispy, if you want more volume, it just all depends on your eye shape. Personally, if I'm going with it, the long, the long typically lasts me anywhere from two to three uses. Um, the medium typically lasts me about three uses. And the short, because they're just the short ones and I only use them for the inner corner, they typically last me for about a good six to seven uses glue doesn't burn the glue vapors make you get watery eyes so no the glue doesn't burn and the reason why I think the glue doesn't burn is because I don't scratch my eyes I don't rub my eyes I don't pick at my eyes but I would imagine like if you were to scratch your eyes like if your eyes were itching and you actually scratch it and then later on in the day you decide to put fake lashes on yeah, I would imagine that it would hurt, but I don't do that. So I actually prepare my eyes for this process. So it's kind of like you're prepping your hair for a specific hairstyle. If you know that you're going to get a relaxer, you don't scratch your head. It's kind of the same thing. So if I know that I'm going to wear individual lashes, I make sure that I prep my eyes for that. Now, no one's actually asked this, but I think this is really valuable information. The way that I prep my eyes, I prep it at least for two to three days. Now what I do is every night I'll take some castor oil and I take a, a clean spoolie brush and I will stroke it. Hey, that's what she said. Just make sure I get on my waterline. I want it to be able to sustain that manipulation or sustain what I'm about to do to my lashes. And the glue vapors, like the smell of the glue, at first it used to bother me, but I think I got used to it. So it's kind of like if you go to a nail salon, Getting your nails done, you walk into the nail salon, all those like chemically smells, the acetone, the nail polish, it has a strong scent. Before, it used to give me a headache, it makes me not, it used to make me nauseous. But when I go to the nail salon, it doesn't do that anymore. Like I can get my nails done anytime and I'll be straight. If you're sensitive to smells, again, uh, what affects me may not affect you. So I'm okay with the smell of the glue. You may not be okay with the smell of the glue. If anything, I would suggest maybe opening up and smelling it to see if it's something that you would be okay with. But that's on you. How long does it take to install them on yourself and other people? I don't do this on nobody, okay? My sister asked me to do it for her. I'm just like, no, because I'm not a professional. If for whatever reason 
you get an infection because of something that you didn't do, not me, because I'm gonna I'm always be careful. You're gonna blame me. And I don't need any of that. So I'm doing nobody's lashes. That's why it says DIY lash tutorial. So you can do it your damn self. I don't do that, no. Now how long does it take for me to install it on myself? Now that's a good question. Um, if I'm in a rush, I can do it within 45 minutes. And it's not gonna last because I don't take the necessary steps that I normally do, drying them after each lash. But if I'm not in a rush and I'm watching TV, I'm just sitting there, sometimes it takes me five minutes to do one because I'm sitting there watching TV. I'm just like, oh my God, did that just really just happen? Like, it just all depends on what I'm what? doing. Sometimes it can wow. take me anywhere from 45 okay. to okay. an hour and a half to do oh. both eyes. Here's the final look of me actually applying the individual lashes to my natural lash versus the waterline. As you can see, it you can't even tell there's no difference because it's still underneath the lashes instead of on top. I did it the same way as far as like long, medium, and short to create a wispy and like just a very flary look. Now, if you're interested in seeing the difference between a natural lash and the double up lash, here's the difference. As you can see, it's a major difference. So beautiful, love your lashes. How long do they last? Is the glue permanent or not? The longest I've allowed my lashes to stay on was three weeks, but I do not suggest doing three weeks. And the reason being is because you wanna give your lashes room to breathe. What's really going to affect your hair or your lashes is the manipulation. So you wanna give your hair time or you wanna give your lashes time to breathe. So the longest I suggest having them on your eyes is about two weeks. They actually typically last one or two weeks. Now the glue itself is not permanent, it is semi-permanent. With this, because it's not permanent, you can use like some type of solvent or solution to remove it. Kiana Talented, a YouTuber, she's like my YouTuber sis. She does makeup videos and sometimes she vlogs too. She's really funny, really interesting. Check her out. I've never done individual lashes, probably because I like splashing water on my face. And I heard the individuals don't last long if you do that. People be charging arm and leg for those too, and I'm cheap. Hell yeah! First of all, I should have started this video off with that. Going to an actual professional and going to an, a technician to do your lashes can cost you anywhere from like 100 to 150, all depending on the length, the volume, and all that jazz, right? But if you do it yourself, it will only cost you $3.99 if you go to like a cheap beauty supply store. You save so much doing it yourself, and that's why I love doing myself because I save money okay and just the thought of me just like saying oh yeah I did it myself and people are like oh my gosh you did it I'm just like it really strokes my ego and I like it trust me Kiana girl I love splashing water on my face I, I have to get all up in those crevices I have to make sure that my face is clean at least twice a day especially before I go to bed because when you walk out of your house you introduce like the stress factors to your face and I don't want any of that especially during this pandemic oh no keep it to yourself okay I'm washing my face and I'll show you how to wash it money was on credit card so here I am in the hotel I'm actually I'm about to tap this trying to focus on me um here I am in the hotel I'm about to wash my face because I've been driving for a good 24 hours it feels like but I had to wash my face in a whole day so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and show you how I wash my Lashes. Oh my gosh. Why is this happening? Bottom of your feet is so hard. I thought you had no flip flops. I do have on shoes. Oh, okay. Praise God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mercy. Very lovely, Shartia. Thank you for sharing. One question though, please, how do I manage washing around my eyes with these on? Will water melt or loosen the glue? I love cupping water around my eyes with my eyes shut, obviously. Yes, girl, you can definitely wash your face with these on. I use soap and water all the time when I wash my face. I definitely wash my lashes because dirty lashes is disgusting. Disgusting. Ew. It's not going to mess with the molecular structure of the glue. You can definitely still wash your face and wash your eyes with these on. That's the only way I cannot, if I can't wash my face, I, they would not be on my eyes. Let's just say that. I, no, no. I have very sensitive skin. So the same facial cleanser that I use to wash my face is the same thing that I'm going to use to wash my eyelashes. So what I typically do is start with my face first 
And because my face is so sensitive, I do have to use my hands. Sometimes I do use like a spin brush to really deep clean my skin and my pores. But for the most part, I use my hands. And then I go in with whatever residual soap and gently, and I do emphasize gently massage the actual lash itself. And then what I do is rinse it off. And then I go in for a second time to actually focus more so on my lashes. After I've rinsed all the cleanser off my face, I then go in with a little bit more cleanser on my actual lash line and massage it so gently. This looks like it hurts, but trust me, it doesn't. It's kind of like I'm squeezing the water out my lashes. I, pressed, I am not pressing my hands or my fingers into my eyeballs. I'm just squeezing the water off my lashes. And I just repeat that until I feel like my lashes are clean just by simply investigating my lash up close. I only use a spoolie brush to help me clean my lashes whenever I wear makeup because the spoolie brush really helps to really dig in between each lash. And if you really need a, to show you how I clean it with a spoolie brush, um, I can do it in part three. Just let me know in the comments below. But after like a couple of times of cleaning it, my lashes are clean and I am able to actually cup water around my eyes. And as you can see, my lashes are still there. This is also another reason why I like to use the waterproof glue because I likes to get wet. <gasps> That's what she said. So you do your own fills, do they irritate your eyes? Do you ever remove them all and just start all over? As your lashes grow and it produces sebum, it's gonna naturally break down the glue that's attaching your lashes to your natural lashes, right? But have no fear, it's only gonna really fall. You only see that it removes itself when you go to wash your face. What I'll do is, of course, after I wash my face and I've noticed that some of them have, you know, come, came out, I'll dry with my spoolie brush and my fan. And once it's completely dry, that's when I'll go in and replace the one that has fallen. So they're dry now. Uh, so all they have to do is replace the ones that fell out. Like I said, this one fell out prior to, and this one fell out when I was washing. And this is pretty much how I'm able to kind of keep it lasting a lot longer than normal. Um, but the only issue I don't like about the extra volume ones is because they're heavy. And because they're heavier, they're, they actually tend to not last as long as the natural looking ones that I did prior to. I don't have many. <laughs> I think I got three tries, three uses out of one pack. So that's actually really good. And that's me replacing some too. That is disgusting. Urgh. So they both had a long, let me see, one, two, three, four, yeah. So that was definitely a long piece right there. And that was also a long piece over there. So I never just like take, remove them all and just like start over because like I said before, I like for my lashes to breathe. So if it's time for me to just remove them, I remove them and I'll do it again in like, I don't know, another like three weeks or so. Because I want to give it time for my lashes to like I said, breathe, you know? Gotta let it breathe. I was asked, can you use the same ones that fell out? Like, can you reuse them? Honestly, I mean, ideally you can, but if I'm completely honest, the ones that fall out, you're not even gonna know that they fell out. And then also the ones that you do actually save, it's gonna have dried glue on it. So I guess if you wanna save it just to save money, I guess you can, but that means you have to actually clean the lashes. Like, you would actually have to clean the glue off of the lashes. And I feel like that's just doing the most. I would just prefer to just buy more. I mean, doing it yourself is cheaper anyways than actually getting it done and this process that i did to actually clean my lashes is the same process that they clean they do to clean it too so i used to get my lashes done all the time like the actual individual lashes i used to get them done all the time and that the way that i showed you how to clean it is pretty much the way that they showed me how to clean it so it's the same process it's long ish but it worked. All right, so someone asked, what glue do I use to remove them? So there's not a glue that you use to remove them. There is a solution that's used, it's called lash remover. I wouldn't suggest using that to remove it, especially if you do it under your lashes. Actually, even if it's like on top, I would not suggest using a lash remover because you can risk getting that into your eye and that junk burns. Don't do it, okay? I know you're thinking about it, but don't do it. 
How do you remove the lashes? The lash removal process is very easy. Well, at least I make it easy. I tried multiple techniques. I found that this works best for me. Now, if you just go plucking your eyelashes, just removing them like this, your lashes are going to come off, your skin on the waterline is going to come off. Like, you don't want to do that. That's that's a no-no. That's what you want to avoid. So, I'm going to show you how to remove it properly. Um, okay, so I'm actually in the process of taking these off. And I totally forgot that, hello, I am doing this whole, like, lash process. And I totally forgot to film it. Um, but I have most of them taken off as you can clearly see um, there's still some that's on there I'm gonna show you how to I go on ahead and remove those I mean eventually that they'll kind of like fall out on its own because of your natural oils but I'm gonna show you how I remove these lashes so the way that I normally remove my lashes I take some oil you can use olive oil any type of oil honestly any oil that's actually good for your face so today I'm gonna use some of this castor oil and what I'm gonna do is just rub it on my eyelashes so I'm just gonna take a little and all I'm doing is just rubbing my eyelash um, castor oil is really good for eyelashes too it helps it grow so what I'm doing is massaging the oil on the lash gonna do it on both oh. and as you see it they we got one that's cut came off already good girl I'm gonna take some more oil and just rub it so you might end up having to do this like four times and remember this is your eye so you want to be gentle the longer the oil sits on your eyelashes the easier the oil is able to penetrate and kind of break down the glue. Yeah, so this process is very soothing actually. Boom, now I got another one. Of course you'll have some glue that's like really stubborn and it doesn't want to break down. But you still, you got to be gentle. You don't want to pull your natural lashes out. Now, I thought this question was really good. How did these grow out since you didn't isolate one lash specifically for each extension? When you apply the individuals under your lashes, some of the glue is still being attached to your natural lash. As your lashes grow, it's growing with your lashes. Oh, damn, that is on there. I must have just did that one too. You'll notice that the ones that's like the most stubborn are probably the ones that you recently did. Oh, ooh. Yay! I look like an A once I take them off. I don't know. But anyways, so I've gotten my lashes fully taken off, as you can see. Uh, what I like to do is after the oil has sat in my eyes for about five minutes or so, I then go on to wash it thoroughly. There's no like residue, basically. Um, and then afterwards, what I like to do is treat my lashes with a castor oil treatment. And really all that is, is just me taking a spoolie brush and applying castor oil to my lashes. I like to do this, um, like I said, before I get do my lashes. Um, and then I also like to do this after um, I do the lashes or take them off, I should say. The reason being is because castor oil, like I said before, it really helps with lash growth. You can put this on your lashes and you can also put this on your eyebrows. And your girl, although the lashes are off, natural beauty is the way to go. Fresh face head ass. Okay, so it's not a question, but someone commented and I feel like I'm gonna rank me in the comments. Be easy, be easy, okay? Don't be too harsh on me. You give me Beyonce vibes. <laughs> Listen, you can't, y'all just can't just go throwing around, oh, you give me Beyonce vibes and think I'm gonna be okay. Like, that's just not how it works. Like, how do you say, how do you say to one, oh, you give me Beyonce vibes? I'm just like, here's TikTok what I done. Somebody I hate us out there is gonna say Beyonce who? Beyonce me? I like the to put a ring on it. Uh oh, 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 uh
here and I'll get to it on the third video. So I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed part one. Hopefully part two did not disappoint. Please like this video if you liked it and you thought this was very informative and very informational, educational, all of those synonyms. I love a good do-it-yourself project because it's like, hey, I can do it myself. So at this point, it's like, what can't I do? I can build furniture, I can do my lashes, do my own hair. Like, what can't I do? I need a challenge. <laughs> I will see you guys on my next video. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you so much for watching, but don't leave just yet. I am pretty sure you're going to enjoy these other two videos. So click it before it's too late.